to me. Is this stage fright or weakness? Good morning, one and all. The patient has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. The Parkinson's disease is a neurological disease. The patient then goes to one neurologist to another, takes one pill after another, but there's no cure. Why? Because the drugs do not reach the brain. This is because of a special and intricate barrier called the blood-brain barrier. This blood-brain barrier is present between the blood vessels and the brain tissues. The blood-brain barrier strictly regulates the movement of molecules across the blood vessels. Now, do you think that nature is designed in such a way that the drugs cannot cross the blood-brain barrier? Do you think we cannot treat the Parkinson's disease? Well, I think not. Do you remember the last monsoon you had viral fever? Did you lose your memory or did you lose your hand-eye coordination? No, right? That's because the virus and bacteria in your blood vessels never reach the brain. That's because of this fantastic creation called the blood-brain barrier. Breaching blood-brain barrier is a challenge yet to be tackled. To address this issue, we are looking into another natural phenomenon of fractals. Fractals exist in the nature that are uh, in the branches of trees, veins of leaves, and our very own blood vessels. These fractals bifurcate, are bifurcating in design so that the fluids and the nutrients reach from the roots to the shoots very efficiently. So these kind of fractal designs we've been able to fabricate in our lab. My research employs to use these fabric, uh, fabricated structures to make an artificial model of the brain. How? Well, these uh, fractal structures can be used to mimic the blood vessels. Once the blood vessels can be mimicked, the blood flow and the blood pressure can also be mimicked. Then we culture brain cells in and around it so that a lab model of blood-brain barrier is created. Once this blood-brain barrier is created, we can look into drug transportation studies and look into which drugs can be crossed through the blood-brain barrier. This is how we are planning to treat uh, neurological diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and many more. Cure is around the corner. Don't lose hope. Thank you.